Oh, well, hey, folks. Welcome to another episode of Real Country with Jeff and Melanie. Today is October the 1st. Uh, just thought I'd make this little video because this is mine and Melanie's favorite month out of the year. Now, we enjoy all of them, and we try to have fun all year round. But this is normally our favorite month of the year, because this October starts the real true fall weather. And we really enjoy the kickoff in fall and all through the winter, all the holidays coming, all the cool weather, the good time. And we're not having no cool weather here in Alabama. It's been averaging 95 to 110 during the heat of the day. Uh, I actually put a picture on Facebook yesterday of it being 110 in the shade of my front porch at one o'clock in the afternoon. Didn't seem like the last day of September. But just gonna make this video and uh, just mention some of the things we really look forward to every year. And the way things have changed and the way things we hope will continue. Uh, when when I was a kid and my wife was a kid, we're basically the same age, just a few months difference. But uh, we were in grade school back in the 70s. And uh, back then, the climate was totally different. By the time October got here, it was cooling off. It was cooling off real good. And uh, toward the end of the month, when I guess it was like the county or the state fair would roll into town, those nights you went to the fair, you were wearing a, a heavy jacket and you were cold. You were blowing smoke. Uh, hadn't been that way here in a long time, but uh, we always look forward to the changing of the leaves, the good fall foliage, uh, and celebrating the entire month of, you know, having a little fire, uh, some good home cooking, eating more stews and chili. Uh, I always look forward since I was a boy back in the 70s. That was when squirrel season started. And me and my dad would start sneaking back into the woods doing a little squirrel hunting. Uh, for a little kid, you know, eight, nine, ten years old, that's a big thrill. And back then, we didn't have deer in this part of the country, so there was no real big game to hunt. Uh, there was a little bird hunting, a little rabbit hunting, but we primarily squirrel hunted. And uh, it was just nice to walk through the woods and, you know, see all the pretty leaves and get to shoot a 22. And if you got lucky, come home with some good squirrels to eat. And uh, then, of course, as the month came toward the end, the, the fair come to town, always got to go get a good funnel cake or a corn dog, ride a few rides. And back then, the fair had the livestock exhibits. And even though we tried to farm on a small scale and we lived in town, uh, it was nice to go in there and see the, the real farmers that had the cows and the, the big hogs for show. Uh, the ladies would put their preserves up in jars and enter them in the cooking competition and people would make quilts and they'd have judges for that. It was a true old timey country fair. Uh, everybody had a good time. And then, you know, another week or so later, Halloween rolled to town. And back when I was a kid, all of the schools had Halloween carnivals. All your local churches had Halloween carnivals. And it was good, clean fun. Uh, you could go, you could win you some prizes. They'd give you erasers and coloring books and rulers and free pens and pencils and get you some candy. You know, they used to have the cakewalk and They'd have where you throw the ball, knock down the bowling pins or the old milk jugs and throw the darts and pop a balloon and win a prize. Uh, had the old go fish tank where they'd swing a cane pole over with a clothespin. Somebody on the other side would act like you got a fish on and fight and you'd have a little old, used to be a paper grocery sack and there again you'd have crayons and rulers and keychains local businesses advertising their companies and you got a bunch of goodies with a little bit of candy. It was all good, clean fun. And everybody had a good time. Uh, nobody was thinking nothing evil or scary, scary. I mean, every place had a little haunted house, but it was a boo. It wasn't nothing gory. It was all good, clean fun. 
and I grew up watching the old movies from the 50s and the 60s, the old black and white monster movies, the old timey Bela Lugosi Dracula, Lon Chaney and the Wolfman, uh, Boris Korloff playing Frankenstein, the good movies, the suspenseful movies, Vincent Price and the Fly, uh, all the great you know, Wax Museum, Godzilla, the good movies, the ones that you could have a good time, you could be fun, maybe you got a little scared, but it wasn't the blood and guts and gore, and it was better that way. And when my boys, we got married, we had two sons, we tried to make their childhood as close to our own as we could. Uh, we decorated the house just like my parents did. We took them trick-or-treating where we knew it was safe. Uh, and then we'd come home and as they got older, we'd have little bonfires in the backyard and we'd grill hamburgers and hot dogs and tell their friends to come dressed up as something. And it was just good fun. Well, now our boys are grown. One's married, both of them's moved out. And it's just me and my wife. And I don't care. We still decorate for Halloween. <laughs> Uh, matter of fact, right now we've had this old decoration. This is one of two or three. We've got a pumpkin man and got one with a cat and a skull. Used to those little glow-in-the-dark light electric plug-up lights. Uh, you bought them at all the big stores for 10 or 15 dollars and we've used this same one for oh my goodness over 20 years and if we ever go to a flea market and find another one or find one like that for Christmas we get them because they just don't make them no more. And they last forever as long as you keep them out of the weather till the next year. You may have to change the light bulb, but that's it. But even though it's just me and my wife, we still gonna watch a Charlie Brown Great Pumpkin. Uh, we still gonna watch the movies. We'll have popcorn. It's just something fun to pass the time. We're not into no satanic weird stuff, nothing like that. It's just good, clean fun. Uh, and we're going to enjoy it. And one day, if we ever have grandchildren, uh, hey, we're going to let them come out here to the farm and we're going to have hay rides and we're going to have bobbing for apples and we're going to have costumes and grill some hamburgers and hot dogs and good, clean fun. So with all that said, I we'll still be going out and we're gonna have try to have some little videos and do a little Halloween themed stuff so please don't think nothing bad about me you know we're just gonna have fun for the season for the month so uh, everybody's gone camping at one time and you sit around the fire and somebody tells a good old ghost story well we're gonna try to see if we can find a few people and over the years I've bumped into a few people that they've always got a ghost story just like somebody always has a Bigfoot story or whatever so if I run across anybody that can tell me a little urban legend or can tell me a little ghost story we might try to put it out there it's all in fun you know we're not trying to do anything flaky it's just good clean halloween month of october fun that's all it is uh, along the way we have some local cemeteries uh, one of them i had heard might be haunted well i don't know about that but i do know some of the people that was buried in there date back to the time of the civil war so i just thought that'd be interesting we may go take a tour of that we have another one in town that I never heard it was haunted or anything like that. But there again, it has some very old and interesting local history. So we may check out that. We also have in our area a military cemetery, a national cemetery that I've heard there's people in there dates back to the 1700s. So we may go take a tour of that. Uh, there are always in every little town a so-called haunted house. Well, I'm not going to say we're going to sit up all night and play Ghostbusters, but we might ride by and just take a little, little quick view and tell you the local urban legend. Like I said, it's all in good, clean fun. And uh, hopefully we'll share some Halloween traditions with you. We will mix in maybe some Halloween goodies and cooking recipes and just try to have a good time for the month of October. So if you don't have anything to do, 
you know, come ride with us, check it out. And like always, we appreciate you watching. And if you will, hit the like button, hit the subscribe, tell your friends. Uh, we need all the help we can get. And we'll try not to scare you too bad. Like I said, mainly we're going to have some good, clean fall fun. And it, like I said, if we can find a local little school that's doing a Halloween carnival, we might go check that out. Or a local church doing something like that. If they don't mind us showing up, we might walk around and just show you some pretty fall foliage. But till next time, if the good Lord's will and creek don't rise, we'll see y'all down the road. Thank y'all.